Let's now talk about the rotate, scale and stretch tools. And for that, once again, I'll start with the same sketch and I'll make a selection first. And now I'll go to this drop down and I'll start with rotate entities. So if I make the selection first, the objects will be auto selected and it will be listed here. The next thing is keep relations. I'll keep it unchecked for now. And then in the center of rotation, I'll just check this box and maybe I'll select this point as the center of rotation. Now that the point is selected, we can start rotating this. And in order to do that, all we need to do is just increase or decrease this angle value. So here we are. When we are adding a positive angle value, it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction with respect to the point we selected. You can select a negative value like this and that will reverse the direction in which this object revolves. Alright, so with that, I'll just click OK and there we have it, the revolved object. I'll press escape to exit this command and control Z to get back to this again and escape. Now let's go to the same option again, ro rotate entities and this time I'll select it. I'll keep this keep relations checked and then center of rotation and this point right here. All right, now let's increase this value and this is going to happen. Or maybe this time it will make more sense if you make a negative value like this. So I'll just make it well close to minus 30 and this will happen when you keep the relations. So when you keep the relation, which is this option, this line is going to remain horizontal and all the other objects will rotate accordingly. However, if I uncheck this, this will rotate like this. So I'll click OK and there we have it. Escape to exit this. Now let's press escape and and let's move over to the next tool here and that is scale entities. Now in this case again I'll select it all and this will change the overall size of this object. So in this case again you need to specify a base point. So click here and click on a point that will become the base point. So this point is going to remain fixed and object size will change with respect to this point. Now specify a scale factor and this is an important thing here because if you use a scale factor which is between 0 and 1 the size of object will decrease. For example a scale factor of 0.5 will make this object half the original size. A scale factor of let's say 2 unit will make it twice the size, 3 will make it 3 times and so on. So let's use a scale factor of 0 0.25 which will make its size quarter of its original size. So with that I'll just click OK. That's it. It's one fourth the original size. Press escape and there we have it. So that's the scale tool. I'll press Ctrl Z and escape and I'll repeat this command. So again I'll go to scale, I'll select it all and now base point, maybe again this one and now I'll keep this copy option checked. Now when I check this copy option, this will allow me to create an extra copy. Here in number of copies, I've selected one. So let's use a scale factor of maybe 1.5 or 6. I'll use a scale factor of 1.5 here. So it will use a scale factor of 1.5 to increase the size and it will retain the original object as well. So I'll click OK and there we have it. So we have both. Now as you'll notice, that command is still active which means we can still make more copies. So here I can once again change the scale to let's say 0.6 and I can make another copy. I'll click OK and once again the command is active. So you can repeat this step several times and till you cancel this command or click on this OK option once again the command won't exit. So right with the single command you can create multiple copies. Alright, let's press Ctrl Z to get back to the original one. And let's see how we can do this using single command. So I'll go to this scale entities. I'll select it all and scale about. Well, maybe this time I'll select this origin as the point. And now a scale factor of let's say 1.4 and here copy is selected. Now in this case, we'll have the copy as expected, but what about this option? If we change number of copies to let's say three, then we'll end up with three copies where every scale factor is changing by a factor of 1.5 with respect to the original object. So if this length is 10 and if you use a scale factor of let's say two here, just to simplify things, then this will be the final size. So this will be 10, 
this is going to be the 20 30 40 and so on so it will just increase everything by a factor of 2 all right let's just click ok and that's our final drawing now I'll press ctrl Z and I'll get back to this so let's pan it here and let's see the last option which is a stretch so I'll go to this here and that's a stretch entity and using this you can stretch the drawing so I'll maybe select these three lines for a stretching so these are selected now we have the from and to option I'll keep this one and then I'll click on the box here now click on a point and then click on the second point and the object will stretch so again and if you want to finalize this just right click or press enter key so that's how you can stretch now in order to see this in a much more clearer way I'll just repeat it again so stretch entities and this time I'll make a box kind of like this but I want to include these two as well so I'll make a crossing box like this all right so now all of these are selected and with these things selected I'll now go to this selection box and this time all of these objects will change their size so basically these objects are not going to change size the only size change will happen for these two lines so if I click here look at this it will just stretch well those two lines so press enter and that's it now if you want to increase this gap and want to change the length of this line and this line the selection will be slightly different so I'll go to stretch entities and I'll make a selection like this so that all these objects are selected so these two are completely inside the box when making selection so they won't change the only thing that's going to change here is this line and this line so again I'll go to this point I'll click on this first point and I'll select the second point there we have it right click or press enter to accept the changes and that's how you can stretch the geometry